Can the definition of native inhabitants of Guam be crafted to move forward with Guam's political status plebiscite? In a legal opinion in response to the governor's question, Guam Attorney General Doug Moylan essentially says no. Since on its face that appears to be a violation of the Equal Protection Clause and the government cannot be engaging in activities and using taxpayer monies for functions like that, which violate the Equal Protection Clause according to the Ninth Circuit in the Davis case, that we need to find a different methodology to do this. Moylan says to pass the legislature's method to determine Guam's political status with a plebiscite restricted to Guam native inhabitants is legally flawed and wasted decades. The scheme in which the legislature had previously determined a vote should occur would be from those people, which are really, many of them are now descendants, of anyone that was on Guam in 1950. The vote at a standstill since the 2019 Davis versus Guam case where the courts ruled the plebiscite unconstitutional. We have to find a different way to, as a people, go to Congress and let the United States know this is what we want. He says Guam's best option is to pursue a federal statute from the U.S. Congress recognizing Guam's unique history or seek political support from the United Nations with a resolution or use a private organization to conduct a self-determination vote to be used by the Guam legislature. It's important we need to have our leaders move forward towards something that's workable and that we're not spending years in court and paying for the other guy's attorney's fees. The Davis case and the fight that was put up there um, I believe it, it hit a million dollars, if not more, of taxpayer monies that were spent to pay for their lawyers on something that should have just been figured out early on. In response to the AG's legal opinion, the governor's office says no comment. Mitsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.